Uh, so yeah, uh, she introduced me pretty well. I'm Kobe Yates. Um, um, I go to Northwest Nazarene University, studying criminal justice um, in the ROTC program. I will be a senior. Um, I'm also in the Idaho National Guard. I went to basic training last year, uh, 2020, during COVID, so I didn't miss too much. <laughs> but uh, I went to Fort Benning. Uh, I was at Alpha 347. Uh, with the Raider Battalion, and um, every my company, we were 11 Bravo, uh, that's what we signed up as, that's infantry, and uh, so I'm not, uh, I'm going to AIT, Advanced uh, Individual Training, that's where you get certified to be with a infantry unit. Uh, I would have gone this summer, but with ROTC, I went through Advanced Camp, uh, that is to basically just like, to look like, Everything that they taught us, we kind of put it to test, get graded for everything we do, uh, the missions and all that. Uh, so, uh, funny little thing about basic training. I think I learned the most about the Bible at basic training. I mean, I've gone to church my entire life, but something that was weird. I was in a room full of people that were infantry. They're training to kill the enemy. and I learned from them. Really weird. But there's a guy named Ridley. He was actually from La Grande, Oregon, where my uncle's from. And funny story, he actually wanted to be a chaplain, but his recruiter told him there's no slots open, only for infantry. That was a big lie. Oh. But uh, he signed up anyways. Yeah. And every other night or so, he would do Bible studies. Oh. And I learned so much from him just because. We're on that like, that military environment, mm -hmm. and he he knew how to talk to us. Uh, he knew how to uh, talk and word things to make to make sense to people who were in that environment. Right, right. Uh, good examples. Uh, he's like made really good examples of uh, you know just things that uh, infantry guys would understand. And I'll tell you what uh, I met. I'm mm. the dumbest people I've ever met in my life <laughs> at basic training. I swear to God. But there's a guy here at lunch, and he asked me if I could peel his orange for him. He's never peeled an orange, didn't know how to peel an orange. What? Yeah, I, I thought he was kidding, but. Was he from Alaska? <laughs> he was from uh, Alabama. Oh, oh, great guy. Love the guy. Love guy. I, yeah. Yeah. But, uh. <laughs> No, I got no. So, uh, <clears throat> so one thing that I kind of thought of myself a while back was, how can I be a Christian and a soldier at the same time? Uh, and I know, like, they always say in the Bible, and uh, Christians say, uh, if someone slaps you, turn the other cheek. And I don't know about you guys, but that's not what I would do. I wouldn't turn the other cheek. And I know as a Christian you're supposed to do that, but that's not my natural instinct. Right. And I just wanted to talk about some some other verses in the Bible, some other things that kind of relate to soldiers and ways that I can kind of feel that kind of connect the bridge from being a soldier and being a Christian at the same time. So, uh, we all know about the Battle of Jericho. Yeah. And, you know, back to Sunday school, they told us that, you know, they marched around the city seven times with their bugles, and the walls came down, and then they fought and they won a battle. What they didn't tell me, and I didn't know, uh, You can raise that up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, no, stand. No, stand. 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 Oh, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> but, uh, so, uh, God told the um, Israelites, um, once the walls came down, to kill every man and woman of every age. And that's very violent, and something that, I mean, I never heard until uh, I went to college at NNU, and one of my uh, Professors was talking about it in our Bible class, and he's talking about a lot of other violent things. I was like, 
I didn't know like the Bible was that violent. Mm -hmm. I didn't know there was all that violence in the Bible. And I started looking into it more, and like all these violent things were against evil people, against evil in the world, and uh, uh, a lot of the Old Testament, and you know, a, lot of, a lot of people say that the Old Testament uh, may not be as relevant now, which be yeah, a uh, very lawless land, at least from how I see things in the Old Testament, and times have changed, but there's evil back then, there's evil now, there will always be evil. And so, I, at least how I think, uh, God has made uh, his people, uh, like me, that we are we're good people, but we have to know violence to get rid of that evil. And that just kind of helps settle me to be, to know that I'm Christian and I can also be a soldier at the same time. Uh -huh. <laughs> and some other verses that I would, I just uh, came across that were kind of some more like violent ones that kind of you don't hear much about. I never heard of these. Uh, one of them is uh, 2 Samuel 10:12. Uh, Be strong and let us fight bravely for our people in the cities of our God. The Lord will do what is good in His eyes. And then uh, Psalms 18. 39, you have armed me with my strength for battle. You have subdued my enemies under my feet. And uh, Psalms 44, 5, through you, we will push back our adversaries. Through your name, we will triumph down the, sorry. <laughs> through your name, we will uh, trample down the enemies who rise back up against us. And just, just hearing those, uh, all these uh, verses in the Bible, it, it, it just kind of, it, you, you don't hear about them much. Um, throughout all my life, uh, you always hear, uh, like, the love and the peace, which is amazing, awesome. And, but I feel like these kind of verses that don't go known very well, uh, we still need to recognize them and know that they're in the Bible, because every part of the Bible is important. And, uh, just what I kind of want to end on is my favorite verse, which is Romans 13, 4. For he is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid. For he does not carry the sword in vain. He is a servant of God, an avenger, who carries our God's wrath upon the wrongdoer. Amen. Yes. And I just, I think that speaks to me. I've always wanted to be a soldier. Uh, and... It, it speaks to me, and uh, yeah, that's that's all I got. So thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.